Yo, this fifth wheel here is something I feel like too many people don't know about based on how many times I get asked, what's a good bunkhouse fifth wheel that actually has good seating space in the living room? Hold tight, I'm gonna show you, cause this is it. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to show my face real quick so you know that it's me, Miles here with Firmly Unbound, showing you this fifth wheel RV. I'm actually gonna flip the camera na around now though so that we can take a look at this Highland Ridge open range that is an incredibly impressive bunkhouse fifth wheel. They have the floor plan layout and the specs over here so I'm just gonna walk right up to it. It's a big fifth wheel for sure. And if you have not seen one of these before, it's about to blow your mind. It is a 42 foot, three inch long fifth wheel. So a huge beast of a fifth wheel and unloaded is 13,575 pounds. So very, very impressive. It is a huge fifth wheel and a great option for people that are looking for something that has a bunk room with big seating space in it. Not only that, but it also has opposing slide outs in the bunk room. So one of the few options out there in the market that's going to give you opposing slide outs in your fifth wheel. So you can see there's a slide out in the bunk room back here and on the other side. And in total, that's going to give us three on this side. Is it two or three on this side? And two on this side. So a five slide out fifth wheel. And it's a full profile fifth wheel without a doubt. So you have a full profile front cap, flat roof line all the way to the back and a dropped frame. You have a full fiberglass front cap here, the open range logo that main on the horse is actually a little bit of a 3d graphic so it pops out a little bit and looks really cool you have a rhino pin box up front and then down underneath here you can see you have the jt strong arms on here for your stabilization so that's going to make it more stable so when you're walking through the rv it doesn't shake quite as much and then when you open this space up nice big storage compartment it's going to have three 20 pound propane bottles so two there on a sliding tray and then there's one around the corner here you have a spot for a battery there and a spot for a battery here and they kind of drop down underneath the flooring there so it doesn't take up as much space and that's just a huge overall storage space through that area there. So come out this way, you had your propane bottles through here on the slide out tray and then you're gonna have a pass through storage compartment here as well. So you open this up and look at how big that storage space is. It's absolutely huge. The drop frame definitely allows for additional storage there. And then you have things like your outlets here. You can put a TV on this wall that would swivel out if you want. At least I say that and you know what? This here is a sliding door, which it looks like it's screwed in there. So I don't know. It doesn't look like it's actually intended to slide because of that screw, unless that screw just needs to come out. I don't know that I'd mount a TV to this though. That does not seem sturdy enough to mount a TV. So I might um, eat my words on that, but Nonetheless, you do have an outlet up here. You have the TV connection, so you could still put a TV outside, but you have this hole that runs right through here. So if you have an extension cable or something like that, you can keep your baggage door closed and it will run through there. Plus it should also be noted that you have this additional skirting that comes down the side here that gives this fifth wheel a much cleaner look than fifth wheels that just leave this open and exposed to where that drop frame is. So really like that look there and gives it a cleaner finish. It has these latches here that hold the storage door open and then those will just slam shut. This whole space is all underneath an awning, LED light on the awning as well, outdoor speakers up there, and then it has frameless windows. Two slide outs on this side. Gosh, I've been talking so much today, y'all. It seems like no matter how much water I drink, it's just never enough. Um, I brought my RV key with me. Hopefully I can open this compartment door here. Sometimes this key's brand new and sometimes it doesn't want to work for me. Dang it, I can't get underneath here. This is on the other side of the refrigerator, so I don't know if it's I would guess it's just an access panel to the refrigerator. I don't know though. If you know for sure what's behind there, I can't get it open because I don't have a lock. Oh, I don't have a key. This is so, I hate when this happens when I just can't get stuff open. I think I just brought the wrong key. I have the other key that I need too and I just, yeah, I can't get it. Darn it, I don't know what's behind those doors. That's such a bummer. Um, you can pause the video right here real quick to see some of the information on this model it's a 395 bhs and again the floor plan layout there down underneath here is a tandem axle and it is a um rainer st tire a rainier rainer um 
It's an all steel radial tire and it's a 235-80R16 tire. Has this style suspension system underneath here. We've seen this on some of the other Highland Ridge products and I do not know the name of it. So if you know, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I've asked this in other videos already, so I might already know by the time I get to this video being uploaded. But unfortunately, at the time of filming this, I can't recall the name. Do not tell me the store's locked. Do not, okay, oh, thank goodness. This one definitely needs to be open. Cannot go without seeing this outdoor kitchen outside. The biggest thing I love about this outdoor kitchen is you get a sink. The reason I like the sink so much is because this prevents you from having to walk inside to rinse off utensils, to wash your hands, rinse off dishes, anything like that. So I really like having this outside and a lot of outdoor kitchens do not have a sink. You also have a pull out griddle cooktop and that's going to be a nice wide griddle cooktop there. A bigger refrigerator and you have a pull out cutting tray here as well with storage underneath it. So overall, a really nice practical outdoor kitchen space all covered by your baggage door there. So it's gonna give you nice shade, plus you have the awning up over this area. So plenty of shade in that space. Now, as you walk back this way, on the back side of this fifth wheel is a 100 inch wide body construction. We see that on a lot of different Highland Ridge products is that 100 inch wide body construction. Big windows there, and to be 100 inches wide and have opposing slide outs in the bedroom, you can imagine how dang big this bedroom is going to be in that back area when we get inside. Along your non-camp side, you have your 50 amp power cord connection there off the back end. You're going to have three slide outs on this side. It's a six point auto leveling system and you can see you have two different drain valves. So you have one right here and you have another drain valve right here. That looks like it's going to be black and gray tank for probably your half bath in the back and possibly even the kitchen sink. Um, actually, I see another pull valve here, so this might Come, the kitchen sink might come to this spot. And then you're gonna have your second black and gray tank dump valve here for the full kit or full, sorry, full bathroom that is in the front. Through here, I'm guessing this is another locked door. That looks like that's water connections through there though. Cause you see this spot right there, looks like water connections. Looks like it has a tanked water heater. So gas and electric water heater, probably gonna be a 12 gallon gas electric water heater, I would imagine. But I did not look at the exact water heater capacity. It should be in the description below in the video. Down through here, you can see your storage space, have your auto leveling controls, battery disconnect switch, and an inverter installed. And finally, through here, you have your propane bottle. Prep to add side cameras as well. So if you wanna get side cameras on this unit, you can add your side cameras. And even comes with a cleaning spray bottle up there in the slide out. <laughs> cable driven slide on these slides you see cable driven slides here too for your bigger slide outs so that is everything on the outside now as we go inside please let me know what you think about this fifth wheel rv if you could see yourself camping in something like this and if i missed something let me know down below in the comments or you know whether it be myself or somebody else in this community here watching might have an answer for you again it's a 395 bhs make sure i didn't miss anything that y'all need to see it does have a screen door and then as you go inside Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about, and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company, and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. This floor plan here, like I said, y'all, this is, if you want a bunkhouse, in a big bunkhouse at that with a lot of seating, this is it. You need to know about this product here. This definitely needs to be one that you are considering looking at because there's not a whole lot of things out there in the market that are gonna have this kind of layout. So you have a nice big 50 inch screen TV there. Your lighting here above the island. Kitchen here on your campsite. This is a residential refrigerator with an ice dispenser there. So you have the ice dispenser, a residential size oven here in this space an actual tile backsplash, a high point um, microwave here that also has an air fryer function on it as well, a little bit of storage space up above there, and then you can see you have white 
hardwood finishing here. It has a slight gloss finish to it as well. And then back on this side, you even have two recliners right here that are independent. You can move these around however you may want. Um, when you're not going down the road, usually best to have these just facing towards the living space, but they have to be turned sideways for the slide out to fit in. You have symmetrical looking storage up here. And when we open up these doors, you can see your storage space through there. That's gonna be a tinted glass door on that and storage through there. That's all symmetrical. You're going to have a big mirror there, window on this wall right there, and then down through this slide out. Just so incredibly impressive. So this basically what they did is a three cushion sofa here, also pulls out and makes into a bed. And then you have right here, a two and a half cushion sofa essentially, where this flips down. And this is going to be cup holders, outlets, USB ports, and your controls for the recliners are actually in the armrest. So very interesting. And then with this pull strap right here, let's pull this and see what happens. Ooh, look at that little storage space down underneath there. Hopefully this is what I'm thinking it is. Okay, yeah, this is gonna make into a bed. So this will be, yeah, a trifold sofa is gonna make into a bed there. And overall, this thing is over eight feet long. I mean, it's massive. <laughs> the right size adults, I mean, one person could lay this way and one person could lay this way. This sofa is so absolutely humongous. So huge, huge seating space area, plus you have the two additional recliners right there. I mean, it is truly impressive. Up above here, you have big storage as well. So nice big cabinet doors that open up. These are gonna be solid wood finishes on here. And again, they have a slight, slight gloss finish to them. Then across from here, you have your TV. Um, it does swivel out a little bit so you can get a good viewing angle from just about anywhere. It is a smart TV as well, so it does have smart TV capabilities. You have your electric fireplace and you're going to have a nice little coffee bar area back in this space. There's an outlet back there as well. I gotta get around this island to get to it. So you do have an outlet in that space. Storage up through here. That's actually considerably deep for the position of those cabinets. And then I don't think I showed you the oven. Let me open this up so you can see how big that oven is. It is huge. Open this up and it's going to be a nice big three burner cooktop as well. And you even have a little bit of storage worked in next to it, right in this area. Coming around this way, let's go back here and you're going to have pull out trash can area with your sink cover as well a storage drawer outlet in the island here and three more drawers that will pull out and a storage space here underneath the sink. So already, I mean, this thing is wildly impressive and we're just getting started. As we keep going back this way, there are two tables that's gonna come with. Those tables will go in these spots here on the floor. You also can see that you have this flooring here that matches the flooring in the rest of the fifth wheel. So no annoying lip or anything like that there. And then as we keep going this way, Look at this bunk room, y'all. Look at how huge this space is. If you need a play space for your kids, this space is absolutely giant. Remember, it's already a 100 inch wide body construction fifth wheel. Standard fifth wheels are 96 inches wide. And then you have opposing slide outs in this space that just opens this space up like crazy. This here is a 250 pound bunk. When we drop this down, it is going to be an absolutely massive sleeping space. It's not your standard size single person bunk. It's more of like a double size bunk. Almost. It's a little bit bigger. You can see actually this right here is a single person bunk. So you can see how skinny that one is versus this one here. If your kids want a table to work at or something like that, that's this table that will come up or you put this table on all four supports like it should be. And then you can take these back cushions, make that into a bed. That's the same size as this bed here. You also have a flip up tabletop space right here. So this will flip up and give you another tabletop here in the bunk room. Outlet down underneath there as well. And then as we come around this way, look at all your storage along the back wall. Very impressive. About the most storage you're gonna see in a bunkhouse fifth wheel. Six pull out drawers that are, I mean, <laughs> I could fit for a camping trip, I mean, I know some people full time in fifth wheels like this, but if you're just doing like a week long camping trip, I could fit my entire wardrobe in one of those drawers. 
So very, very impressive. The amount of drawers you have, two tabletop spaces, pull down day and night shades on all your windows. So you have a day shade and a night shade. You have more of a privacy curtain here on these windows and down there. Um, you know, something interesting, I'm not seeing an outlet in this space. I want to make sure I don't miss it. You have two lights back in the corners, but I don't see an outlet in this space. I'm sure there's storage underneath. Yeah, there's storage underneath these um, sofas there, but no outlet in this bunk area that I'm seeing. That's something that's interesting. It would have been nice to see an outlet there. Um, there are outlets on this wall. You can put a TV on this wall. That looks like that'll fit at a minimum, at least a 32 inch screen TV, but probably closer to maybe like a 42 inch. And then right here, again, you have your single person bunk and another bunk that will flip down. So flip down and that will sit on another support right there. So you have another single super with that bunk. Now I know there's quite a few of you out there that watch these videos with your kids. Your kids enjoy these videos or maybe you're just a kid watching this by yourself. Definitely wanna hear the comments from the kids down below. Parents, if you're watching this with your kids, let them comment on this video if they can. I think it'd be fun to hear the kids' perspective of what they think about this bunk room space because it is legitimately one of the largest bunk rooms you will find anywhere in the RV industry. You also get a half bath. That's a porcelain foot flush toilet there. It does have a sliding door for privacy. Storage space up above here. Spot to hang a towel. You have a mirror there as well. And you're going to have a wood countertop plastic sink and storage space down through here. Has a max air vent fan up here in the bathroom. So get up there, you will have a max air vent fan. And of course you have your second entry door into this half bath. So you can come straight in here from the road. So that is this bunk room. Now let's go up to the bedroom and bathroom. I have to be honest, I haven't even walked up there because the whole rest of this fits will so dang exciting. I was like, this could be the worst bedroom and bathroom ever. And it's still a viable option for people looking to camp because it is just so dang impressive. Coat closet space here and then another shelf right there. As we keep coming up through this space, pass through bathroom. Actually, that's going to allow for a great additional amount of storage that you get in that corner. It has a molded fiberglass one piece shower. So no two piece plastic shower here. You have four overall shower heads on this shower setup. So even one low one here, that's going to be good for like getting your legs and your feet. You have a molded in bench there, a molded in shelf. And it has this wavy design as well. And the fiberglass goes almost up to the roof. Ceiling height in this space is probably about six foot six or so, maybe six five, but on my tiptoes, my head did not hit the ceiling and I'm six two. You have a spot to hang towels here as well. And I should probably turn on the light in this space if I knew where the, there it is. And when I step into the shower, um, being six two, shower head is a little low at my eye level. You can see I'm looking over the shower head. So I would be using the wand for sure. Um, but ceiling height in here is about six foot two to this spot there. And then you'll be able to be about six, five or so and fit up into the skylight. So that's going to be your bathroom also into the corner. Let's look at your storage through here, medicine cabinet, and then wood countertop, plastic sink outlet there and storage underneath here. Plus before I forget, cause I'm going to go straight into the bathroom. I've got to come out here real fast and show you your controls for the fifth wheel are right here. That will also link to your phone so you can control everything on this RV from your phone as well. You have storage space through here. I'm so curious what this little, oh, it's just an additional tabletop space. Well, that's kind of nice. If you're getting ready in the morning, you need a spot to put some additional stuff. Maybe you're like looking in the mirror right here. You can put your extra stuff on this space so you have more tabletop space. That's a great idea. Good use of space. Drawers that pull out there, those are all three the same size until the last one just looks slightly bigger. And then light underneath there and another mirror and storage space through there. Now going into the bedroom, this is going to be a king size bed here in the bedroom. Single slide out. It does have a tabletop space there and your dresser storage space comes with a smart TV. It's a 32 inch screen connects smart TV spot to add a Wi-Fi router on the roof here. If you would like again, day and night shades on all your windows, your windows are also wood framed out. So it gives it a little bit more of a residential look. And then a great amount of floor space in here. I don't know how they do it exactly. I don't know if it's just a deeper slide out box or what, but it's a really, really impressive amount of floor space in this bedroom. And then you open this up 
And yeah, storage down underneath there. This is strut assisted as well. Um, as we keep going this way, your closet here, big space through this closet. It does have washer dryer connections in here. So looks like washer would go on one side, which would be this side. And then dryer would go on the other side, which would be this side. And it looks like they'll sit on that platform. So you'll still maintain those storage spaces down underneath here. Plus you have outlet there as well. You have a clothing rod across the entire length here and some shelving there as well. Nice big, essentially like full body mirrors here. When you close that closet, you have little storage spaces. I wonder how deep these go back behind here. Yeah, not very deep. And little bedside tabletop space. I must say, wow, this um, blanket that they came with, it's a very nice soft feel. It's pretty thin, but it's, it feels nice. And then not an incredibly great mattress by any means. Probably going to want to upgrade that. I was looking to see too where the outlets for the bed would be. Let's open, let's lift up the bed again. Okay, there they are underneath the base of the bed. So you do have outlets there. That was something I was going to be worried about because I was like, you have to have outlets next to the bed, but they do. So you're good. These drawers here are huge as well. Lots of space with those outlet here and a pop up um, wireless charging pad. And it has USB port there as well that pops out the side. And that is basically everything on this fifth wheel RV. It does have a whisper quiet AC system. So AC is going to be nice and quiet. As we come back down this way, it should have three ACs on this fifth wheel RV. As I'm going back to check in the bedroom, let me know what you think about this fifth wheel RV. If this is something you could see yourself camping in, it does have three ACs. So there's your third AC there. It also can just dump into this room. And yeah, let me know what you think about this fifth wheel RV. Have you seen this before? Is this your first time seeing it? And would you camp in something like this or even live in a fifth wheel RV like this? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. And until next time, live firmly on bound.